Okay, so to make your model of a solar system in terms of an approximate scale of distance between the planets, you're going to need a blank piece of A4 paper, a ruler, and a pencil. The pencil is important because if we make any mistakes, we can rub uh, it out. So the first thing you want to do is fold your blank A4 piece of paper in half, like this. Make sure it's nice and neat. Just like that. The second thing you want to do is you want to fold this into three equal sections. And I find the easiest way of doing this is to roll it up. And then flatten it out. Just like that. You then want to open this up. Now you should see that you have two new folds in the paper. You want to then check which way the paper opens. All right, and you want to be writing along this side here that is in the middle when you open it up. Okay, so along this side here. So at the very top, okay, very small, S, which stands for the sun. Okay. The first fold is going to be um, S for Saturn. So another small S. The next fold is going to be U for Uranus. And at the very bottom of the paper, we're going to write a small N for Neptune. So I can show you an example of already your S, S, U and N should be in the middle of the A4 paper. All right, in the first fold, which is between the Sun and Saturn, you're going to fold this into two. So you want to fold the Sun towards Saturn. Okay, make a new fold and open it back out. This new fold, we're going to label with a J for Jupiter. And then you want to fold this top section between the Sun and Jupiter into three equal sections. Now, once again, the easiest way to do this is to roll it up and flatten it out. All right, if you open that up, you should see you now have two new folds. We're gonna label the first fold closest to the sun. This is going to be Mars small as you can write that M because we still need to fit um, Mercury, Venus and Earth between the Sun and Mars. So as small as you can, you're going to write an M underneath the S for Mercury, a V underneath the M for Venus and the E between Venus and Mars. You can now open up your piece of paper and you can see that we have the Sun at the top, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune and these are relatively uh, the same distances apart as they would be in the solar system but once again this is not 100% accurate it's an approximation. All right now the ruler and the pencil are what we're going to use next. We're going to be labeling each one. So the reason why I had you do it in the middle of your paper is that if we try to do the labels for all of these on one side, they'd be very squashed together. So we can do some of them below and some of them above and spread them out a bit. 
So I find the easiest thing to do is actually start from the Neptune side. And I'm going to draw Neptune going up here. You don't have to do it like this. I'm just showing you a way you could do it. A line coming off and you're going to label this one Neptune. All right, Uranus, I'm going to have going below. So I'm going to have this one coming down here. Uranus. Next one is Saturn. I'm going to have Saturn coming up here. Then Jupiter. I'm going to have this one also coming up here. Then I'm going to go along to Mars. And with Mars, to give it as much space as possible, I'm going to have it coming across and down. So I'm going to draw this as neatly as I can across to here and then down. And this one is Mars. You see how I'm using the space around the paper so all my information isn't squashed into this end here. For Earth, I'm going to also have Earth coming down to the bottom as neatly as I can. This is why the ruler is so important. Coming along to here, this one's going to be Earth. Venus, I can have going upwards. So Venus, I can have going into this space. And the last one is Mercury, which I'm going to have going down, a little bit across, and then down. And I'm going to write my information for Mercury in this space here. Now, what you still need to add to your diagram uh, is the asteroid belt. Okay, and you should know that the asteroid belt is between the inner and outer planets, which is between Mars and Jupiter. You should know that the inner planets are these first four planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And you should know that the next four, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, are the outer planets. You can use different colored pencils and felt tip pens to do this. You don't need to use pencil like me, but it's easier to rub out a mistake if you make one. So now I can add the asteroid belt between Merc uh, Mars and Jupiter. I'm also going to label the information around the planets. I need to add the average surface temperature for each one. I also need to add which ones are the inner and outer planets which ones are the terrestrial planets, which are the inner planets, and which ones are the gas giants, which are the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune.